Hey, what is going on guys? It's your boy D1 Snipes here today, and I've got a little bit of a problem here with this episode. Uh, it's episode 17, uh, rescuing the intel agents. Uh, two guy, the first guy, this is the one, you find him like dead center of the little purple circle. Uh, he's in the woods, there's a shit ton of guys in there. Um, just head around to the left. I think I only had to take out two guys before I got to him. Um, but the second part uh, kind of gets on my nerves. This game does this sometimes, and I don't mind it, but it's really vague about some objectives. So I just want to show you guys how to get this guy out of here. Uh, not, not necessarily how to, because I do not do it well by any means, but this is just when I figured it out and it kind of pissed me off the fact that they did this it, it, it was kind of annoying I won't lie I'm not sure why it got to me so bad but the fact that I had to do it this way is just kind of annoying I did this like three or four times and just could not figure out where this guy was and I like that the game like makes you think a little bit like you get to an area, but I mean, sometimes you just can't see the entire area, so it's hard to like really make a good informed decision based on where people are at, where objects are, where cover is, that kind of thing. So, and that's I usually like to play as stealthy as possible, but sometimes the game I feel like it forces you to, unless you are just incredibly patient. But even even then, like it's super difficult to play the game stealthily when you're constantly put into situations that force you to use gunfights or to take down a guy that's in front of another guy that's in front of two groups of guys. So it's just it's kind of a pain in the ass, and I wish the game. I love the game so much and it gives you so many opportunities to do a lot of things and I'm sure that I can approach this differently like cause distraction somewhere else and then get him out while they're but I feel like a pure a pure stealth game should at least allow you some like wiggle room I guess it's, it's very tight and locked down and I like that it makes it difficult like if it was just a walk in the park then I guess it would not be that fun. And I tend to agree with most people in that, like, the more options there are, the better. But I looked in those cages forever, and I could hear that guy talking, but I could not find him. And turns out he's to my left, and that kind of pissed me off. The fact that I, those cages are there, it just kind of drove me crazy. I'm not really sure. But yeah, you find him down here in this pit. Um, hopefully this helps you guys. Uh, I I really got lucky as shit here. Uh, in the audio you may be able to hear, but I say that I get really lucky because <clears throat> uh, who quiet takes out a guy that spots us before I can switch guns. Uh, they all have shotguns. They all have armor. So this is like a super super difficult part of this mission. Uh, quiet ends up taking out a guy. A guy with a freaking RPG misses me by like what seems like inches. Uh, it just, it was not good. Like, I think it's coming up right here. Like, I turn around and an RPG is like flying past my face. Yeah, right there. Yeah, so I got a little bit lucky, um, but that's where he is. That's basically all I wanted to show you guys. Um, Hopefully you guys don't mind this game being as vague as it is sometimes. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit too obvious, sometimes it's a little too vague. Uh, what do you guys think? Is the game too obvious or is it too vague and which do you prefer? Do you prefer like a game that makes you think and make those crazy decisions on your own and look around? Or do you like a game to tell you exactly where something is uh, so you know exactly the route that you want to take to it? Even if it's a different route. Um, you know, I don't know. What do you guys think? Catch you guys on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.